Welcome to the time of relief, the time of revelation, the time of liberation, the time of empowerment and favor. As I said in the previous episode, we will be looking at the second female pastor or rather deacon as it was called in the New Testament church. Remember, I said the reason the word pastors appear just once in the New Testament is that the New Testament pastors were called deacons. Deacon means a servant, servant of God or servant of the church. Better still, servant of God over a church. Romans chapter 16 verses 3 to 5 mention another prominent female spiritual figure, Sister Priscilla. Priscilla, a full-time minister and her husband, Aquila, a tent maker and a part-time ministry partner, were instrumental in putting to write a prominent teacher of God's word, Apollos, in the things of God. Such was the prominence of Pastor Priscilla in the early church. Apollos himself, a vast teacher of the word of the same ranking as the Apostle Paul. People even compared the two. So Paul wrote from Corinth, Romans chapter 16, verses 3 to 5. Greet Priscilla and her husband, Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus. Verse 5. Likewise greet the church that is in their house. Priscilla was obviously the pastor of that church. Otherwise, Paul would not have mentioned her first. Greet Pastor Priscilla for me and her assistant pastor husband Aquila and the church in their house. The Bible culture is very particular in the listing of names. Name is listed by ranks, spiritual position or relevance. It was Esau and Jacob by the birthright. It became Jacob and Esau when that baton changed. It used to be Manasseh and Ephraim by birth. But it became Ephraim and Manasseh by the divine reordering of rank. We see Moses also changing the natural order, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, to the spiritual order of Reuben, Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. The Bible always listed apostles Peter, James, and John in that order by rank or position. We have Barnabas and Paul by the apostolic and pastoral mandate becoming Paul and Barnabas on the mission field where Paul was the missionary and Barnabas just his supervisor. By the natural order of marriage, it is husband and wife, Aquila and Priscilla. But by spiritual ranking, position, relevance to the core, the order becomes Priscilla and Aquila. Whenever they were referenced as a couple, it is the natural order, Aquila and Priscilla. But to the church and the ministry work, it was Priscilla and Aquila. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 19 Salute Prisca and Aquila and the household of Onesiphorus. Join me again next episode as we examine the only female apostle, Junior, mentioned in the New Testament.